Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And today we're going to talk about a beautiful topic. First of all, we're going to start talking about autumn more, which I absolutely love. I love autumn fashion. And this season, there's a couple of colors that are standing out to a lot of people. I feel like people are just now discovering these colors. And we're going to talk about how to implement these specific trends into your fall wardrobe and how to work with them. And specifically today, we're going to touch base on implementing and adding spots of red into your fall uniform and fall outfits and how to do that properly and how to work with different shades and stuff and I'm gonna show you specific examples of how that color could be implemented in your wardrobe with the help of my beautiful co-worker and teammate Sophia and without further ado let's get into the video <music> So this is basically our first outfit. First of all, let's welcome Sophia into the whole YouTube field. She's a part of our Modismi, our educational fashion platform team. And this is the first outfit that basically illustrates how we can incorporate the red hue, this specific kind of warmer, I'd say carrot-ish red into the outfit. And this one's definitely more risque because this is a leather longer line coat. And this material specifically is kind of on the shiny side. So I decided to balance it out with something very matte in here. And since this is a very dramatic piece of clothing, I accompanied this one with something that's very structured like this bag. But on the other hand, all the other items, so we're talking about the tank, the jeans, and the shoes. And these are Nike Air maxes if I'm, if I'm not mistaken these are in the collaboration with Comme de Garçon these are so beautiful all the other things are very casual this casual this is casual and then sporty to balance out the dramaticness of this coat and this is the way to kind of take away the extra dramaticness and I'd say sexiness of a red leather material that can definitely give off like super sexy vibes so we're taking something that's very sexy and we're taking something that's on the opposite side of the spectrum very casual relaxed etc and this is the ensemble that we're working with very 2000s very trinity if she were more into color and i feel like it suits her very much because of the contrast with her face and her uh, hair color it looks absolutely beautiful and this is one way to wear this and next i'll show you another pair of shoes that would kind of sway this look into a different direction and this is kind of a different variation of the same look we're pulling this kind of yellowish faded tone from the jeans and this kind of a jean is very popular at the moment and also this is a flare which elongates the silhouette and there we're taking the yellow from here and we're putting it on the shoes and the shoes have a longer pointier toe therefore they elongate the silhouette even more and because the style of the shoe is very vintage e very like feminine and slash preppy it kind of sways the outfit into a bit of a different direction as opposed to casual sporty it gives off like like I'd say feminine slash casual which is more like meeting style appropriate and then this muted mustard yellow works perfectly with a bold red color in here and the silhouette gets even more beautiful And this is kind of a different approach to, I'd say, workwear. And I know that everyone needs to do it wear actual like office attire to office. So this is kind of an approach of like old Celine style to go to meetings and stuff. Or if you're feeling in the mood for something more formal, this is an outfit with a different shade of red. This time we're using shoes as a point of focus or as a focal point. And here the shoes are burgundy red and you don't necessarily have to actually wear like bright 
yellowish red. It can be any tone that works for your wardrobe, especially if you're starting out with implementing red in your wardrobe. I feel like bright red could be totally and very intimidating. And start with periphery, so let's say shoes and accessories, and then go up to your tops because top is very out there in terms of color. And because it's in the portrait zone, it's very kind of crazy for some people, especially if this is your first time actually working with red. So we're starting with periphery over here. We're doing the burgundy old Celine shoes and then we're doing kind of the whole working woman outfit but as opposed to wearing like a formal shorter blouse which would sway this outfit into a very like formal slash old school direction we're kind of doing the same thing but in a different way we're swapping the blouse or the shirt to an oversized t-shirt white crisp beautiful it gives off this whole casual vibe to the outfit because otherwise everything's very feminine and formal and very classic and this casual piece especially in the portrait zone which means the zone that's around your face is going to balance out the outfit and this spot of color is going to kind of make the outfit look more interesting and more 3d because otherwise this is a very neutral colored outfit and this is a beautiful way to implement some red color in any other color that you're experimenting with or studying out to experiment with, especially if you're a minimalist and you're, you're kind of afraid of this step. This is the next outfit. This is a different shade of a burgundy red, not necessarily like a bright red. This is another option to implement this kind of a color and color scheme into your outfit. And this is another way to do it, to pair it not with something only minimalistic but also with other colors and the best way to do that the foolproof way is using the color scheme method so basically you're using the color scheme where on the color scale there's red and opposite of the red on the color wheel there's green so these two colors are complementary which means that they're the most contrasting colors to each other in the whole color wheel in this way they look the best together especially in the muted form because in their bright version they they're too like out there and crazy and in this kind of way burgundy and then muted forest green they look very nice and beautiful and mellow and all the other things are pretty pretty chill and minimalistic so we're having minimalistic loafers oversized straight and a bit flared jeans then the belt which uses kind of the whole thing as a horizontal line and divides the outfit as opposed to elongating the silhouette in this way it also works with the loafers and then the white tee we've kept the white tee because it works beautifully with white jeans and i love all the white items especially for the fall because everyone and their mother doesn't wear white in the fall and therefore it looks very beautiful contrasting to everyone else and then we have these two things stand out and work beautifully together So this is the next outfit and this one is definitely on the other side of uh, styling yourself for the fall. This one's very comfy cozy, this is like a very lounge on the weekends slash there's a delivery guy out there and I'm going to get my delivery, my Chinese food in there, I'm going to go some shopping or you're going to get some food with your friends so something's very relaxing but also there's a couple of things that make this outfit more like structured and outside appropriate so apart from these two things so this is basically like a lounge set and then a white tee peeking out which makes the outfit brighter we're using this beautiful coat with structured oversized shoulders to structure the outfit and bring some classiness to the outfit and then we're adding these loafers with socks that elongate the silhouette and also bring some glassiness and structure to the outfit and kind of brighten up the outfit as well because they're brighter in terms of color. And then for a pop of texture and color, we're bringing this burgundy red back, which works beautifully with the whole outfit and kind of creates a focal point for the look. Thank you. 
So this is our next outfit and here we have spots of red in a burgundy way, specifically here in the pleated skirt, so very subtle for those who are unsure if red is their color if they want to implement it into their wardrobe. And here we have a very classy skirt, a very classy but kind of a modern take on the classy blazer with oversized shoulders, kind of men's style blazer. And also here we have kind of the same color scheme, complementary color scheme with green and red and this is printed this is printed this is basically stripes and this is kind of looks like houndstooth which complements each other perfectly then we have an oversized deconstructed lawn sleeve which casualizes the outfit then the bag is very classy as well and the shoes are funky and printed this is a leopard print which correlates with the outfit and makes it look less serious And this is the last outfit and here we have a blazer or also a printed kind of a blazer neutral muted burgundy red which works perfectly as i've said previously not everyone needs to have the whole bright red thing going on and this one basically is sandwiched in between the hoodie which is very mew mew slash prada styling which i feel like works beautifully because this is, is a classic piece and this is a sporty piece so these two styles are on the opposite end of the spectrum therefore they work beautifully together and create depth in an outfit then we have a very casual jean piece and because everything's very oversized up top i felt the need to balance out the bottoms so they kind of go narrower to the bottoms and then we cuff them because this is a very trendy styling thing that's going on this season but also this creates much more beautiful proportion to the outfit and then we have pointy toe shoes and a heel and therefore it's going to elongate the silhouette because this is very oversized and overpowering and then we have a structured beautiful bag that also brings some texture to the the outfit because of the whole pleating thing and this is it that's it for this video let me know in the comments below if you like this one and uh, leave me down below some suggestions for the next topic for this video i know everyone's almost as excited as i am about fall so let me know if you want me to cover some specific topics that have not been seen on this channel yet and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye